Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am doing this flip through with my little one right beside me. So he is very talkative and you're gonna hear him for sure. So I'm not even gonna say if you hear him because I know you're gonna. But um, he is up and at him and I have a lot of videos to film. And I am losing you guys slowly but surely. It's happening. Alright, so... Um, Anyway, I am going to do a flip through of this beautiful journal that I have here beside me. I'm super excited about it. And I think it's really pretty. It's like one of my favorite um, themes to journal. It's a nature themed and I really, really love that. Um, I love it. I just love the cover. I love the way it feels. It's really thick. Um, I just, I really like this journal. So anyways, for the outside cover, I have used, um, printed paper. I wanted to leave it black and white and just really focus on the imagery here. Um, I have inked the outside and then I have a fabric spine. The fabric is really beautiful. That's right. Um, it has two signatures as you can see and they are straight stitched in and this fabric is just so pretty I'm like a bird lover and my husband always makes fun of me because I love birds so much But I just love the birds in this fabric. I think they're gorgeous and He's talking away and then I've used some of that spine fabric for a ribbon closure as well This is the top view You can see all kinds of goodness poking out and this has all kinds of goodness poking off of the side as well. So if you open up the inside, you have this little pocket for the inside cover. And then you start your first signature. It does have that fabric on the other side of the spine as well. It says, adopt the pace of nature. Her secret is patience. I need to have that as a mom, as a person. I think we all do. We all could use that, right? I love this paper as well um, and then it just has some goodies in here I'm not gonna take out all of the stuff in it because we're gonna be here all day long this um, ribbon is just really pretty I love like how delicate it is it's really pretty I love the colors of it as well it's very fall and this is just a tuck spot with this bird on it and the butterfly tuck on the other side Here's a leaf and mushroom on this coffee dyed paper. I really love this. Well, excuse you, mister. Excuse you. Um, it just has this paper clip and it holds this little guy. And it's this like hexagon shape all the way out. And then this is a little pocket here with this tag. And it's also a pocket in the back as well. Holding this little guy. It's just an ink dyed and um, distress inked index card. Super cute. That hedgehog is so cute. Yeah. Has this that folds out? Yeah. This vellum pocket here. Just I know I said I wasn't taking anything out. I'm still taking things out. So this is a tip in. Yeah, this here is a pock is like a pocket with more of that really pretty ribbon. This one's a green. This has places to go, people to see. I thought it was oh, there's an the extra piece of it on there. I thought it was really cute with the color, and it is a double pocket. Like this is a, and then this, then um, these butterflies, really pretty. All these little bits hanging off if you can see those this folds out into some distressed writing space um with my coffee dyed paper if it has rips i always use it and then cover the rips with washi because i love that look so i think it's really pretty and it just adds and look at this dye i love how it dyed like i cannot waste that paper it's just so pretty just some little bits here. I like to make just like a little header or like little bits and odds and ends on the paper that I would journal on. Um, just to add a little something. Here's a tag. It's some um, uh, coffee dyed um, 
white paper and some ribbon on the other side. Journaling card there. This is coffee dye tracing paper into a pocket. It says nature. I'm trying to make sure you can see like every bit and it's it's really hard because they keep moving the book. And um, this is a pocket as well. I like this paper. I just left it as is. It's really pretty. So pretty. This is a tuck. I don't know if it, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I thought both of them were, yes. This is the middle of the signature. I always leave my strings long. And um, this is clipped in here. And it is actually, there's pages hand sewn into here as well. This is really thick, like cardstock in here. It's really pretty. I know it's not gonna pick, well, maybe it did. It's very shimmery, really pretty. And then there's some stenciling, ink stenciling. Heaven is under our feet as well as over our heads. It's really pretty. I just love, I feel like there's just beauty all around us and I love to capture that in a journal. Here's a pocket and it's, it's a little pocket here. Never does nature say one thing and wisdom another. Really pretty. This is a big pocket here. Love this image. Nature is not a place to visit, it is home. Some more bits here. This is a little tuck area. Some more different washies. Super pretty. You just pull this leaf, and it has a pocket here. Yeah. And then it has some coloring space. And it has this pocket here. I really love this color. Oh, it's so pretty against like this. This is like a green. I don't know if you can tell that on camera, but this is like a green. And then it's distressed. And then on this wood green background, it's really pretty. This is a little tuck area here. And then you can write on this. This is, this is a little tuck area. You can stick some things in here. Look at how pretty. That's so pretty. Just some more washi, documented, some coffee dye tracing paper. There's a little envelope so you can tuck things here and then in the envelope. And that's the end of the signature. You know, guys, I really like to leave like the end and the beginning blank because I just like, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know. That's just something I like to do. I don't like things to fall out when you're like flipping between the signatures. I like for it to be able to be like pictures or like something that you want to put in there. I don't know. It's just how I am. Um, here is a um, pocket here and a big pocket here and then a pocket here as well and a pocket here. No. <laughs> I was like, how long did I do the pocket? Sometimes I'll do this as a pocket, but I guess I just didn't. Here's some stamping here. There's just a little clip in here. There's some stamping underneath. There's a pocket. I love this. So pretty. He's just talking it up. I don't know how many times I can say pretty, but this is just washied in here. So you can take that out if you want. There's a pocket. If it bothers you, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because I'm a mom to like a lot of boys. And I feel like sometimes that I have a lot of children and then I watch these YouTubers who have like seven, eight, nine kids because I love watching them. Like, I love it. Like if kids were not that expensive, I would have a dozen. I really would. And I would adopt a bunch of them and and have more and I just I love kids but I definitely don't feel like I have a lot after I watch them <laughs> this is beautiful I really love this piece too I just I really love all these little bits hanging everywhere I think it's super cute there's a pocket here and it just has this little booklet in it There's another one of these that folds out. And it just has extra writing space on the back. This one here just has writing space. 
And then that is a pocket on the side. Here's another side pocket. And here is another one of those washing in there. I love this image too. All these beautiful images, I just left them be because they're so pretty. I really just loved them. This is Oh Happy Day. Here's another little scrappy bit piece. I really like that. Here's a tuck spot. I love this like corrugated weird like I don't even know it's like threaded into the paper and it's so pretty and then I really love how this page died oh my goodness gracious oh my goodness Ooh. what are you doing some florals that are really pretty I love this little bird look at him he's so cute I don't know if I did these no this one yes i did as a pocket and then this one flips down because i really liked this image and i just didn't want to cut it up any more than i had to so it actually folds down into the rest of the image and then flips over for more writing space really pretty dragonfly there's a pocket here a bunch of little goodies in there this is really pretty foily loveliness and it's a little tuck there another scrappy piece i love these i just love doing them i think they're so cute it's just a way to add and i didn't want to take away from the beauty of this paper i just wanted it to be <laughs> but at the same time i didn't want it to be fully blank in the middle of the signature so i just put these little pieces and i love this leaf too i think it's so pretty i wish i had a few more of those here's just some pieces in here. Here's a pocket and another one of those note pages. There's a tuck spot here. Just some layered washi. All of the pieces that have washi on it are not ribbed. I just, I like to put washi on the blank pages, like I said, just to put little bits in there. Um, I just think it adds a lot to whatever page you're just going to write on. So this is a little tuck spot here. Beautiful. He's playing the drums on his little walker that he's zooming around the kitchen. I don't think this is a tuck. Yeah, I just left this one be. And these are actually layered wings, and they're really pretty. Alari, you're so loud. This is an envelope. It's really heavily dyed. I love the dye on it. I just think it's so pretty. And it is a pocket back there as well. I love putting multiple pockets in my journals because I feel like you don't necessarily expect all of them. So you're like, oh, there's an envelope. And then you can tuck and hide things behind there and discover them later. This mushroom paper is that rough textured paper again. And then it just has these little bits. It looks like old tape um, that you can write on. This is like hanging off of the page here. Really cute. It's a tuck. And these are really thick and sturdy. I love this washi here. It's really pretty. I love the bird washi, of course, because, um, yeah. Look how pretty that dyeing is in the middle there. So I love it, you guys. And just, I love it. And then in the back here has a pocket as well. So it's a pretty good size pocket. To stick some things in there so that is it you guys a two signature journal I will have how many pages and the dimensions linked in the description box listed not linked in the description box below and I will have my shop and the listing linked as well I have not put it in the shop yet but I'm hoping to do that today so it should be there by the time this video goes up so I appreciate you guys I appreciate your feedback and your comments so definitely give those to me give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing if you like that and if you like seeing the flip throughs of these journals i really just love creating them i also like giving my customers the option of coming here and seeing the full flip through i know a few of them have told me um, 
that they really enjoy that and a few of them have said that's why they wanted a custom journal as well and um, not just the ones in the shop so if you are interested in any of the ones listed in the shop or a custom journal um, just let me know you can comment down here or you can message me um, on my email um, or on Instagram I'll leave those linked in the description box as well and thank you so much for coming and letting me share this with you so I appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video bye say bye bye and now he's quiet.